Ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube and beyond, welcome back to the dojo. As always, I'm Ryu. He's Age. We're back for uh, more Anime Night in the Dojo. And this is going to be My Hero Academia, Season 5, Episode 19. Moving right along. Um, as we can see here in the first frame, they're probably going to do a slight recap of, uh, you know, the family drama two-parter that we had the last couple episodes, which it was fine. Um character development across the board for the Todorokis. Of course, Deku had to give Deku advice, and Bakugo gave Bakugo advice, and then got a uh, tofu recipe out of it. So, you know, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, going forward, I have I know My Villain Academia is supposed to start here soon, so I'm assuming we're going to get at least five. You know, 20 through 25 would be, you know, I'd assume would be My Villain Academia. So this might be like a like let's catch up with what all the other students have been doing slice of school life thing perhaps this is just this mindless speculation before we push play but you know that's what we do here this would be a decent spark a part to start it but they yeah they might do one size just filler episode right and especially with that you know stinger at the end of last episode we'll we'll see so yeah, we said all we needed to say last time, so we're we're ready for the villain stuff. Um, I'm excited for it. So if it doesn't start this time, whatever, no big deal. But ho hopefully, it's at least five episodes at the end here. So let's just push play and see what happens. Let's let's dive on in and into apparent recap zone. It's okay if you don't forgive me, because I don't want forgiveness. I want to atone. The shape of the Todoroki family was about to transform. I hoped that this change would be an improvement, even if only a slight one. Mr. Aizawa, please report to the staff room immediately. How's he supposed to get a nap in? Achako, is that a new costume? It looks amazing! Yeah, that new style is great on you. <laughs> you think so? Aw, oh, thanks, guys. What's this? A new Uraraka rest. Oh crap, that's heavy. Yeah, there's wire stuffed inside. Thanks to my quirk, the weight of it isn't a handicap. The case sure is heavy though. Hey, what you got in here? Ah! Is that the <laughs> Wow, that was like full Marie right there. That was more than full Marie. <laughs> And she's going to put it together in half a second, because this is... yeah. Yeah. It's really not. I promise. Yeah, that was, uh... Keeping it close for now. If Marie could defy... well, she can't defy gravity, but if Marie frequently defied gravity and new martial arts... Oh, you mean you mastered that weird new power? Uh, guys, I put all my might into this one gag, and you're completely ignoring it. Are you okay, old man? <laughs> I'm fine, and I am here, the symbol of sweet. Get it? Sweet, cotton, candy, Wait a second. get it? Where's Mr. Aizawa? An urgent matter arose, so he had to leave school and take care of it immediately. And that sure is preview that we don't watch. But that sure was a thing. It started pretty upbeat with the whole slice of life school stuff. Ida apparently removed stick from ass? Kind of? Ish. Ish? Okay. And Dochako is still carrying around uh, Deku's gift to her from the Christmas stuff, which, unsurprising, that's, that's going to be going on for another 18 seasons until they don't get together in the end. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about how we went from kind of happy-go-lucky to... Now, we did talk about this before, was... At one point earlier in the season, Mike does tell uh, Eraser that, hey, you know, are you trying to prevent another uh, name is already escaping me. They just fucking said it like 18 times. I'm bad. But their friend there, that was the big focal point of this episode that is like now like the core of Kurogiri. So, yeah, we, we, we got were like, OK, that's going to be a thing in the future. And here it is. Yeah, we've gotten stuff dropped about this guy a couple of times now. But yeah, so apparently Kurogiri is like a prototype Nomu before the Nomu. And it was this kid's body used like friggin' something like 12-some years ago to make him. 
and as they apparently figured out the uh, nomu that endeavor took on was you know showing the personality traits basically of like that guy was like a ufc fighter basically an underground fighter that wanted to always fight the uh the stronger opponents and stuff like that so i guess as they've gotten further along in the nomu process some of them have retained personality traits but like the first one that all might took on really didn't well yeah so like that's the ultimate goal with their whole like experiments and whatnot is they're basically trying to use all for one's quirk uh to basically create another all for one just another individual capable of taking and storing multiple quirks right and as we saw there at the end uh why haven't we seen shiragaki well he's been shigaraki, shigaraki yeah yeah sorry long ass day but we haven't seen shigaraki because he's getting doctored yeah, yeah. That, and that, they... i definitely am very interested to see and really hope that the doctor gets like a seriously like solid amount of backstory in the future either he's going to either he's more or less just gonna been a throwaway villain this whole time where it's either gonna be he's gonna succeed at turning shigaraki into like a pseudo all for one and then they're gonna catch him like immediately and he's just not really gonna be all that relevant or right. or he is going to be a longer burn case of like he's gonna succeed here and they're gonna start looking for him now that they got the first hint that he even exists and he's gonna basically go to ground and become hard to actually pin down and he's gonna keep pulling shenanigans in the background right and as a doctor he's been pulling shenanigans in plain sight for decades you know and at this point so as far as dude knows how to you know just yep normal guy <laughs> yeah as far as we're aware he's been doing this for at least 10 years we don't really know bare that. minimum because he was in the deku flashback well, yeah because like we don't know aizawa and mike's canon age i don't think so we don't really know how long it would have been for him to be have him to have been uh their friends doctor right but obviously they had it um access well as a doctor he would have access to you know do the autopsies for stuff like that and if he's at the most prominent hospital it'd be pretty easy for somebody in his position to say like no i need this body for xyz and that's probably how he got access to all these uh uh, students or whatever it may be uh bodies because nobody you know would bat an eyelash like oh dot you know be, he's probably one of the heads of the medical field out there so either he did some very clandestine stuff or it was just oh yeah he they, they need it for a thing or he, he just whatever nonsensical excuse he could come up with to just get a hold of it long enough to take the so, real body and replace it yeah so aizawa according to the wiki is currently 31 so that would put it as at least like 15 ish years since then since it happened while they were still at ua which ua is high school years right so they would have been at least they would have been somewhere around like 16 or 17 and yeah, that being said uh this was uh <laughs> Again, it started off with some just kind of hilarious slice of life stuff, and then they just went straight into a uh, super serious and a very uh, somber mood episode because I was pretty heavy, and I, I think it was fairly well done for that whole interrogation scene. Yeah. So that has to be the lead in to uh, the My Villain Academia uh, stuff because we saw it right there at the end with Hawks talking to Twice and. And the whole thing with the uh, Shigaraki on the table, with like whatever the heck that was coming out of the right side of his body, and he was being like electroshocked and in hell, <laughs> and the doctor was super excited. So I'm assuming that's what they're starting next time. Yes, we could watch the preview, but again, we don't do that. So it, it I'm assuming that's when it's going to start. It is next week. We'll get 
you know, probably some Hawk stuff, and then it'll be like he'll be talking to Twice, oh. and we'll get some more Twice development or something, you know, or um. Hawks will probably just be a recurring thing throughout the My Villain Academia because he's quote unquote a villain right now. Right, and then hopefully we'll get some more insight into those uh, like the Meta Liberation Army like higher ups that they show off in the OP. So that has to be coming, I'd assume, maybe. But yeah, we'll probably get we'll probably get like the character introductions to them as well as the stuff going on with the league and some of the league backstory right. and stuff. Uh, but like I get that. the feeling since it was so it's been so like, oh man, I can't wait for this, you know, like oh, I'm so excited to see this in the anime. I'm assuming cuz avoiding all spoilers as much as possible, I'm assuming we're going to get the backstories of, you know, like um Dobby for the most part um and then the other big one, the girl too many names recently. Koga. Koga, right. She's, like, everybody loves her. So I'd assume that she, we're going to get her backstory and then maybe more insight into from the OP where we see, like, uh, twice multiplying himself uh, over and over and over again. So, yeah. I I'm assuming it's going to be the big-time uh, League uh, characters that are going to get the uh, spotlight here, so... And that's what everyone everyone's been excited about. That you know they are the going to be like the main cast, and there's going to be nothing from uh, the hero side of it for the uh, last part of the season here. So, if this was episode nineteen, that'll leave us six episodes, including twenty. So twenty through twenty-five. Am I counting correctly there? Twenty. Yeah, that's technically six because twenty is starting on zero, then plus five more. But yeah, this this episode was very heavy, and that's all I can really say about it. The interrogation scene, I thought it was pretty good. It was handled fairly well. We got the backstory as to like what Mike and uh, Eraser were talking about, so now we know what was up with that. We got a little bit more of their history, so that was nice. But other than that, yeah, it was very self-explanatory and heavy, so... Yeah, like, this was an interesting episode, but not a whole lot to really say about right. it. Uh, like. It's one of the other interesting things is the whole idea that uh, while Aizawa has been expelling students, he hasn't actually, they haven't actually been forced to leave the school. They just basically have their own expelled students class separate from every, all the other like hero course and support course and stuff like that. Right. That's, that's definitely an interesting way to go about it. I can't say I disagree it, with the method. It's an interesting method. And if it works, it works. It's not like it's, you know, it's a shock, the... obviously. Like, oh, I've been expelled. You know, that's bad. But it's not like he was, you know, being, like, abusive to them. You know what I mean? It was just like, hey, this is a real world now and we're not screwing around, is what he's getting at here. Yeah, that, I, I got not really too much to say about this. It was very heavy. I thought it was fairly well done. No real major complaints. Um, the only thing that I will say, just, like, a nitpick randomly was... In the flashback with uh, Mike and uh, Aizawa, when they were walking across the street, their character models weren't moving, but they were walking, but the, the ground underneath them was moving. Like, you know, like the crosswalk. And I was just like, ah, oh, <laughs> why would you animate it like that? <laughs> Lazy animation. Like, that one got me, you know what I mean? It was like old-timey cartoon, like, the ground is moving, but the character isn't. I was just like, ah, so noticeable, why? But that, that you know, that, that's the only thing I really had to say about, like, anything, just, like, random, since we don't have a lot to talk about. Because I, I, I noticed that, and I was going to say something, but I was just like, I'll just save it till the end. <laughs> you know, with all the random uh, trimming that... I get for copyright claims of this show too sometimes that that might have got cut out because there was something there that's like oh nope that's that's we, we don't want people to see that but y you can see it it's definitely their 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 models just doing this and the ground is moving <laughs> just like oh but yeah other than that i got nothing uh the the actual episode was fine it was good it was very heavy and whatever and I question why they had the, like, slice of life stuff at the beginning. Just 
but it was still that at least that stuff was pretty funny and uh entertaining at the beginning too but the yeah just like that hard left turn from you know the ida and ochako stuff to and now we're super heavy over here it's like all right then yeah fair enough but looking forward to the, mina, the villain stuff and yeah that's all i got mina remains a hardcore shipper <laughs> freaking three dots just like her putting it together where have i seen that thing was that the Christmas? Deku gave that to her. Oh my god, Squee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. So good. Uh, I would use that for a still image next week, but that's not going to be really relevant to what's going on. <laughs> Even if I did use uh, Endeavor for this week, so it, it was still a very somber mood episode, so somber Endeavor face still works. But and, and even though it was just a flashback, we still technically did at least see Endeavor this episode. Right. And... Uh, that, I guess that's another thing that we can mention is um, when, since we are getting narrator Deku is like hindsight Deku, like he's talking about it like when he's much older. So, and he did use the term, I had hoped that this would help the Todoroki family, meaning obviously it didn't work out too well. Meaning that, yeah, they, they either. Or translation... at the very least, his. At, at least the very least like what we talked about last time with endeavor trying to stay away from the family is the part that didn't work out well and he actually needed to like try to actively just slowly work back into the family not just completely like cut it off yeah and we talked about that last time but that that was a thing he did use past tense as a like a, a narrator from hindsight so that's that's definitely something to look at in the future for the Todoroki stuff you got anything else, Age? Because I'm, yeah, again, pretty easy and heavy. So. Yeah, it, like I said, it's interesting, but not a whole lot to say about it. Basically, just get on to the actual story arc. Right. So that's I. I can't imagine we're getting another filler. So I'm assuming the last six episodes are full on My Villain Academia. So looking forward to that next week. So, ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube and beyond, however you're watching. We always appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us in the dojo for another anime night in the dojo. And this was My Hero Academia, season five, episode 19, six to go. So hope to see everybody next week and have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you as you watch. Have a good one and we'll see you next time.